Ahead of the first anniversary of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, President Putin has put on a show of outright defiance, addressing a crowd of tens of thousands in Moscow, insisting that his decision to launch military action was entirely justified to protect Russia's security. Mr Putin went on to stress that, in his words, the cooperation between China and Russia on the world stage is very important to stabilise the international situation. Well, the Americans have already expressed concern in recent days that China could provide arms and ammunition to Russia, a concern underlined by President Biden as he visited Poland today. But our first report tonight on President Putin and that rally is by our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg. To Russia's largest football stadium, they came in their tens of thousands. Not to cheer on their team, but to support their president. From colleges, factories and state enterprises, they'd been bussed in specially for a Kremlin show, designed to show that Russians back President Putin and his war in Ukraine. Irina seems to. We weren't the ones to start this, Irina says. I trust our president. Inside the stadium, the main event. Vladimir Putin shared the stage with Russian soldiers back from Ukraine. It was Putin who had ordered the full-scale invasion a year ago. From the sound of things, he has no intention of withdrawing his troops. There are battles going on right now on our historical frontiers for our people. Courageous warriors are fighting just like the ones that are standing here with us now. They are battling bravely and heroically. We are proud of them. Let's give them three cheers. This is the picture the Kremlin wanted. Russia united. It's minus 15. But as you can see, this place is packed. Now, that doesn't mean that Russians idolize Vladimir Putin and are willing to come out and freeze themselves just to support him. This is a highly staged, managed, Kremlin choreographed concert. That doesn't change the fact that much of what Putin says and does, does strike a chord with a lot of people here. When Vladimir Putin speaks about Russia reasserting itself and challenging the West, when he claims that Russians and Ukrainians are one people, it goes down well at home. Because they think as he thinks. They want what he wants. They view Ukraine as he views. And he reflects their behavior. His popularity is not based on the air platform. His popularity deep-rooted in the Russian uh, public opinion and perceptions. And this is his strength. Away from the stadium, President Putin met China's top diplomat. Russia and China have close ties. Beijing is promising to play a constructive role in resolving the Ukraine conflict. For now, the war continues. Russians are being told by their leaders that this is a just war, an alternative reality. But can the Kremlin sustain it? History will look at it and will look at it badly and we will look bad. Whether Russians will be able to accept that horrible guilt I don't know. I hope they can and they will, because they will be better for it. And here's a sign, perhaps, that some here are less happy with the direction in which Russia is moving. They didn't stick around to hear Vladimir Putin's speech. They left the stadium before the president arrived. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.